guys here we have a asa chromebook c710 all right this chromebook is a very nice chromebook you can see um i know it's a very old my version of chromebook but it's a very good one it has a very uh, good um, um board architecture why do i say so is that it's upgradable as you can see as you open it you can see that you can upgrade the ssd you can also put a hard drive or a normal ssd a sata it works and also and hard drive also works you can also upgrade the ram from 2 gig to 8 gig is upgradable all right see that place i'm showing you that is a the jumper where we have to um off our protection right okay so we join our wire together as you're saying after doing this we insert it there so that we can up the protection right okay okay after doing this the next thing what we have to do is um to boot up our um, chromebook and um we try to get to the developer mode after getting to the developer mode we see a way to create our password and um, our email all right before then you know we have to connect to an internet you have to have a very good internet okay that doesn't uh, interrupt so that you can do this as it's up as you can all right um so we are done closing the back we are going to put the battery and uh, we on it okay now it's quite different from other ones where you on see we we have to on it first then you press escape and uh, refresh button with a uh, power button together it will take you here all right now we press ctrl d yes we press enter to off the verification uh, mode and uh, get to the developer mode but it seems like seems like um we have to first go to verification mode and put our in our our details and get to the desktop okay that information that shows we know that you have to that the one mode is disabled okay so we have to put our details and get to the desktop uh, through verification mode after we are done doing that then we have to go to the proper mode it will work this time okay i did that in some of my previous videos if you have been following me up you see it i've been doing that okay so now we put our email all right after putting our email our password then we get to desktop we restart the system and we get back to um, the problem developer mode uh, this process is pretty simple in this um, chromebook okay what we have to do is uh, we already know the other procedure just when you have put a jumper as i did after you put a jumper you have to press your power button with an uh, escape and the uh, refresh button together it will take you to your developer mode from there the other process are the same okay so you can see what i'm pressing okay i've gotten there then control d now i'll go to my developer mode now for my developer mode what the next we have to put our details after putting our details we get to the desktop we create a root password it's necessary you create a root password and you are using um, the terminal the first terminal not the vt slash two shelf terminal two you are using terminal one to do this and you can also use terminal two but um, I prefer using terminal one okay okay it supports and one thing about this chromebook is that after installing it you all the drivers you need your sound drivers your um your bluetooth and other drivers are installed you have to only install your your mouse drivers i think that's the only drivers you have to install and i will drop the drivers in my in my google drive for you to download okay i think it's the same drivers the same unique drivers everyone we are using in other chrome access but i'll just still drop it so that you can see how it is okay now <clears throat> you can see we get to 
okay now one thing about this chromebook is that its browsing is kind of very strange like what i'm seeing here now you can see how it's the format it is it doesn't look nice it doesn't look like but this is how you do it and copy it you make sure you minimize your browser and you copy and you come here and paste dot type in shell we paste then it loads then we put in our our admin password that we have created okay and it's loading yeah okay we put in two yes um, yes then we put in our flash to back up the, the firmware okay back up the old firmware after backing up then we install the new firmware then we have to restart we are done backing up the old firmware so it's downloading the new firmware okay it's done we press enter and uh, press our arrow key arrow key to restart okay the next step all right we know the next step to take is to put in a new flash drive and uh, to put our windows on it okay um the um the storage drive that is here is ssd 16 gig okay so we still load the windows lights so you can easily change it and put maybe a hard drive if you wish maybe a 500 gig hard drive or, or you can put an ssd of maybe 256 ssd you can load normal windows on it okay it works with that you can do that so um we are going to load our windows light and uh, just to check everything is working so let's wait for it okay then we have to work next now we have to make sure we um, let's plug our, our mouse uh, what we have to do now is to partition the hard drive which is ssd we have to delete all these partitions we have here and uh, try to create new one after creating then we have to install the windows on it okay on the ssd so when we are done with that next step uh, we load it to the desktop after loading it to the desktop putting our names and uh, our regions uh, where you're from like nigeria and all that then it gets to the desktop you see that the the bluetooth um the keep the speakers are working the, the 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 speaker is working very well what only we have to install is uh the touch pad that's the only one we have to install okay so uh, please if this video is helpful please uh, do well to subscribe to my channel follow me up for more videos like this do not fail to share it to those that need it your loved ones and those that is useful to please thank you so much i appreciate those that have been subscribing and so far so good we have 2000 subscribers i believe before we can run down this year we will have more and we still create more impacts to you guys all right thank you so much and we are in the point of where we have to put our name you can put your name you can type anything you want to type there in your password then we are set this okay to get to the desktop soon okay remember why i put um windows light on this is because it's running on 16 gig ssd okay if you have like a, 30, a 320 gig hard drive or maybe a higher ssd maybe a sata ssd it's, you can put a normal windows on it as i said before all right so <clears throat> we are just here to drive it let's copy it from my phone i think i have the drivers on my phone okay just to, okay i've copied it all right so let's try and run it okay it's running all right that's the drivers it's working the mouse is working let me show you let me show you see the mouse is working all right so we are done here you can see that the speaker and everything is there 
all right so we shut down so we are done thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video and uh, don't fail to subscribe and like thank you so much bye for now